Let's talk about congestive epididymitis. After a vasectomy, some patients can experience weeks or months after a heaviness and uncomfortable sensation over one or both sides of the scrotum. This heaviness could be more evident after having sex or ejaculating. Patients may report increased sensitivity over the back of the testicle with a sensation of fullness. This heaviness or congestion felt is related to a buildup of sperm in a small structure called the epididymis. If you remember, when we do a vasectomy, we interrupt the flow of sperm from the testicle to the tubes that carry semen to the outside during ejaculation. By doing this, the sperm does not disappear, but simply does not make it into the semen. Therefore, sperm continues to be produced. When the vasectomy is performed, now there are two halves of the vas deferens, the small tube that carries the sperm from the testicles to the tubes that will bring the semen to the outside. The upper half will no longer be carrying any more sperm, but the lower half, still connected to the testicle, will continue to carry sperm. However, the sperm produced, which is a very small amount of the fluid, since the sperm represents only 5% of all the semen that is ejaculated, will flow into the scrotum, where the immune system will readily recycle them with no major problem. Occasionally, that lower half of the vas deferens gets blocked. This can happen with time due to the response of the immune system. That blockage can cause a backwards increase in the pressure of the tiny tube that gets transmitted to a small pouch on the back of the testicle called the epididymis, where the sperm is ready to go and be stored. This is the result of a buildup of sperm and white blood cells. The increase in that pressure can cause a fullness or heaviness sensation that we call congestion. This may or may not give symptoms to patients, as I noted earlier. But is this bad? Well, the increased backward pressure is not necessarily a bad thing, but this could be rather uncomfortable. However, many patients don't experience any symptoms at all and don't even realize that there were any changes. Is there anything we can do about this? Well, in reality, this congestion can resolve on its own with time, but the discomfort for some patients can be quite bothersome. Although this is transient, treatment is suggested for those patients who are persistently experiencing that heaviness sensation. The use of anti-inflammatory medications will be very helpful. The simple use of ibuprofen, naproxen, or even acetaminophen for those who are allergic to the other medications will be enough when taken consistently for 14 days. In addition, the purpose of reducing the production of sperm and reduce the pressure of that congestion uh, by using scrotal baths will be quite helpful. Let's talk about how to do those scrotal baths. First, you heat water for about five to seven minutes just before it boils. And then you place it inside a metal bottle like a hydro flask, like a bottle like this. You make sure that the bottle gets warm. Then you place, it, you place a small towel over the scrotum and place the bottle over the towel covering the scrotum for 45 minutes, once a day for 14 days. Just be careful not to burn yourself. That's it. In summary, these are the five things I want you to remember about congestive epididymitis. First, it is a heavy sensation over the testicles weeks or months after the vasectomy. Second, it can happen on one or both sides with or without symptoms. Third, is it the result of sperm production and backwards pressure? Fourth, it does not always require treatment. And finally, anti-inflammatories and scrotal baths for 14 days will be very helpful.